one day I was taking a stroll by this little pond and then after I was walking I came up on this little this little forest little woodsy area and I saw that it was protected by this little barbed wire fence when I saw that the woods were protected by this fence that's just when I just couldn't resist anymore I had to go into it My name is Pete Tambriel, and I've been lost in this forest for about a year. When I first got in the forest, there was a little path, like people before me had been here. So I followed them, but sooner or later, you know, I kind of wanted to make my own path. But the forest just kept getting narrower and narrower, and I kind of lost my way. You know, I may look pretty country, and I kind of talk like it, kind of got a little country accent. But, you know, I'm just a slicker. I don't really know much about woodsies and living outdoors. But I do know that the number one key to survival is not food, it's not water, it's not even shelter. It's companionship. Now this here, this here is beans. I made beans so I'd have a little, little fella just talk to, put my troubles on. He talks back, he put some of his troubles on me too. But uh, Beans got a little lonely. And Beans made him a little companion too. But uh, Beans named him Fart. You know, Beans ain't smart, he can't name no, no creature. But uh, me and Beans do a lot of stuff together and you know, I probably wouldn't have made it this long if I wouldn't have made Beans. You know, there was a time where beans would not solve all my problems. So I did eventually have to find some uh, some food, something to eat and drink. And, uh, you know, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't, you know, dug for bugs, little beetles, little night crawlers, you know, eat them. It's all protein. You know, that's all that stuff is. It's not growth. And so, you know, one one week... I just ate bark off the trees. I ate it for a whole week. You know, it's just protein. That's all it is. But it comes at a price. You know, I didn't... I didn't number two for about a month. Because of the fiber. But it's just protein. That's all it is. And so one day, I was walking through the forest just trying to make my way back or just get lost even deeper. I didn't know what I was doing. But I came across some some feces. And it was fresh. Boy, it was boy was it fresh. And I could kind of tell it was like horse feces. You know, it was a bigger animal. So I just searched and searched the whole woods. I probably got so much lost, more lost than I was. But I would just love to get my hands on a little horse. A little horse right now. And so when I was looking for a horse, the tr the trees, these little pine trees in here, they just started taunting me. First I thought I was kind of going delusional, but they were they were talking loud and clear, and they were telling me there weren't no horse in there, and they just told me I wasn't going to find a horse. And I said, you know, feces don't lie, tree. And so I got into a little verbal, almost physical argument with that tree. And looking back on it, you know, I kind of think. You know, I'm crazy arguing with the tree. But, you know, I didn't lose the argument, so I'm not too crazy. I need a horse. I need one. I gotta have it. I'm not gonna stop. And, you know, I'm sure one day I'll find my way out of this, this forest if I keep walking. You know, one wouldn't think that there would be a a never-ending forest. But one day I'll find my way out of it. If I don't, I guess the forest will be my new home. I survived a year, so I'm sure I can survive longer. As long as I got beans, 
and the, the horses and the trees. You know, I don't really need nothing else. 